She's bringing the trailer park lifestyle to the world. Come inside, don't be shy, cause Jolene can't wait to meet ya. She's the queen of the park, she's got gossip news and lots of food to feed ya. Jolene Sugar Baker, Jolene Sugar Baker is one budget-minded girl. Lots of cheap fashion is the passion at the park, the passion at the park, the passion at the park. Dropping in on neighbors is all part of Jolene's world. Jolene Sugar Baker, she's the trailer park queen. Well, hi there, Trailer Park fans. It's Jolene Sugarbaker, the Trailer Park Queen. And welcome to the Trailer Park Test Kitchen. And welcome to another edition of Cooking with Jolene, the Trailer Park Cooking Show, where I teach you how to live on a budget and do it the Trailer Park way. Well, it's been some time, and I've been, you know, going around the trailer thinking of new ideas and new tastes and new spices to use and I thought about this one because I know y'all need a quick and easy casserole to fix on a quick summer night and this one uses feta cheese and it, I, I modeled it off a kind of a pasta dish I get at a local diner but it's a chicken feta pasta and it's super simple to make. You can use chicken tenders or chicken breasts and it's so simple to throw together and it goes all into one pot and it's super simple to make and I'm going to show you how to make it up next. I'm so glad to be back. I'll be right back. Welcome back. To make my chicken feta pasta, you're going to need like a skillet pan with a lid. So let me grab mine. There we go. Welcome back. Making my chicken feta pasta is really simple and we're going to use the one pan throughout. And I'm just warming it up now and I'm going to pour about two tablespoons of olive oil right there and give that about a minute to warm up there in the kind of skillet pan. Okay, now that the oil has warmed up a little bit and the pan, I'm adding about one and a half pounds of chicken tenders. Now you could cut up chicken breast if you really wanted to and accomplish this just the same. But what we're going to do is put them all in one layer in the skillet here and I'm going to move them around every now and then so that they don't stick. But we want a nice crust on them and we're going to cook them on this side for about eight minutes. So I'll check back with you in just a moment. Hey Google, set a timer for eight minutes. Okay, eight minutes, starting now. About halfway through, if they're cooking too fast, just turn the heat down a little bit. Now you can season these just a little bit with some black pepper and some of your other favorite spices if you like. Now, we're going to have some garlic and oregano flavors in the tomatoes that we're going to add to it later on. But I do like a little bit of garlic, so I'm just going to add that to these tenders. And maybe just a little bit of salt. Those tomatoes will be salty too, but this will just add just a dash to that. And we'll finish cooking that side just a little bit here more, and I'll check back with you in a moment. Okay, after about eight minutes on this side, we're going to flip them over and cook for about, I don't know, about five minutes more. We need to make sure the internal temperature is at least 165, and we're going to sprinkle a little bit more seasoning on these to make them really tasty, and as I said, you could use your favorites here. There we go. Just a little pepper here. And look how golden brown those are starting to look. Really nice. And some salt right up on top there. 
and some garlic powder. I do like they like. So let me do about five minutes on this side and check back with you in just a moment. Okay, our chicken has reached temperature and what we're gonna do is add two cans of the basil, garlic, and oregano diced tomatoes right on in there, just like that. And two cups of hot water right on in there. And you can mix that around just a little bit because what we're gonna do is add a whole package of spaghetti noodles and look at that, I'm using wheat isn't that my doctor said that I need to start eating a little bit more healthier and if I can change out my spaghetti maybe that'll help I don't know but maybe they'll be happy about that but we are just gonna cook this a little bit about five minutes here with the lid off and then we're gonna come back with the lid so let me just get this back up the temperature in about five minutes so I'll check back with you in just a moment Okay, now that it's cooked for about five minutes, you're gonna put the lid on it and cook it for about 10 minutes more. Now you can stir it every now and then, so just don't simmer it too much, so keep an eye on it. Okay, I have four ounces of feta cheese here, and I know we haven't really used this much here, but it actually is really good, and we're just gonna sprinkle in a little bit of it, and we're gonna use the rest as a garnish. And we're just going to mix it around in the pasta and cook it for about five minutes more with the lid off. And I'll check back with you in just a moment. Okay, our chicken feta pasta is almost ready to serve. We're going to put the rest of the feta cheese right up on top of that. And I've got some fresh basil leaves that I chopped up. I was growing some in my garden this year. And I just thought that would look pretty right up there and give it a nice flavor. And this is ready to serve, and I'll check back with you in just a moment. And there you have it, my chicken feta pasta. It was so simple to make in the skillet. It used all one pan, and it uses feta cheese. And I know that's unusual, but it's just something super simple to throw together on a quick summer night. And we used wheat pasta, which my doctor will be very proud of that I did. And I used chicken tenders today, and you could probably use chicken breasts that you cut up, or even some frozen chicken that you've already cooked up and then did something with. I don't know. You all are miracles. You write things down on the comments about how you changed up my recipes. I love hearing about that, so be sure to do that. And maybe I should have used a knife here because... Um, I do cook tender chicken, but this is a, we made that nice crust on it. That, there we go, finally here. And we have this pasta and, let's see, chicken all together. And I'm going to tell you what it tastes like. And we use the basil from my container garden too. And a little bit of everything here on the plate. And there we go. Wow, mmm, the tomatoes and the oregano and basil and mmm, that feta cheese is good too. It's kind of creamy, the one, the little bit that you stirred in there and then you have it on the top there. Mmm, this will definitely please your family and you can put your own spices on the chicken. Maybe you can spice it up. Leave a comment about what you would do there. Mmm. This is so good. I hope you get a chance to make it. And if you do, send me pictures at JoleneSugarBaker at gmail.com. Don't forget to add me on Facebook and follow me on my website, JoleneSTrailerPark.com. And find my merch on Amazon. Just search for Jolene Sugar Baker. I'll be back soon with some more recipes, so hit that big old subscribe button. Hit that notification bell wherever it is, and I'll be back soon to teach you how to live the trailer park way. I love you all, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Slap on all your blue eyeshadow.